Hey guys, we got new merch at spillingthemerch.com. Go check it out right now. And we're wearing it. This like this wow. one. Wow. You see this milk girl? She could be spilling milk all over your shirt too. This okay. one's blue. Eden's shirt. And there's another shirt on screen, funds. Put it on screen or you're fired. You're fired. You if can you don't. spill milk all over these shirts and they'll be perfectly fine. Especially the white ones because after you do it. Yeah, these white ones, the milk will it's the same color as the milk, so it'll be fine. So do that. And then you can get it like a special like milk, like rotten milk, like stench that would I don't like... mean to hijack the podcast, but did you guys when you guys had plushies, were you guys plushies on the beds, children, or no? Like plushy plushies in like, the bed? Like you, you cuddle with like them? Fuck, poke fuck a hole in them? them? No. Poke a hole in them? No. Put a little Let's have a normal fuck, conversation. Put some just soup for five in there. Seconds, put some court. soup bags. I want to have a normal conversation for five <laughs> seconds. Keep it all warm and not joy. talking about fucking the plushies. Did you guys ever like yes. leave yes. milk in the plushies? Like pour milk onto the plushies? What? Okay. And then you said suck you want to have a normal conversation. The then you say, do you, you do suck the milk out of the plushie? It tastes better because you can taste the cotton with the plushie. It that might be normal in his world. In my in world, world, in in my world we only drink water and Pepsi Cola out of plushies. Milk is for uh, drinking off of blankets. Thank you very much. Bro, That's whenever so whenever he's at Taco Bell and they say, is Pepsi okay? He goes, yes! Yes! I'm okay with Pepsi. Pepsi? <laughs> Bro, fuck Pepsi. Are we talking, I hate can Pepsi. We talk, can we get into our first topic, Pepsi versus Coke? Like, like this is the most base question you could ask. Like, what is what do you guys think? <laughs> water. I'm so cool. Whichever one that. has the most aspartame. I heard that it's like a chemical that literally <laughs> like it's basically steroids. It enhances your I love your body. adding aspartame to my diet Pepsi, bro. Like already like <laughs> I just, adding I like just 20 eat aspartame more. straight. Aspartame, MSG are the only two seasoning I use personally. Mm. <laughs> you put, you're making your chicken, bro. You no salt, pepper, just aspartame and like caffeine. <laughs> it's like the most dangerous. You say it as does. you take a swig of your Red Bull. <laughs> It probably has aspartame in no, it. No, no, it doesn't. Are you drinking the sugar no, one or the sugar? Okay, free? I only I drank half of it yesterday and I drink half of it today. Okay, everything is okay in moderation. All right, that's true. That's but you're drinking the sugar one that has like personally. 600. I think four to six Red Bulls a day is like a good amount to be at. I agree. Red Honestly, Bull's fucking fire, like, bro. Red Bull is fire. Passing a kidney stone sounds like a good time, but enough of this <laughs> bullshit. Let's jump into like a real topic, Core. You need to take control passing of the podcast. Kidney I like pass. I was here for the passing kidney stones discussion, but I, I guess have you guys ever had a kidney stone? Like, n- dude, not we're, yet, in but I'm 20s, <laughs> we're in that our twenties, bro. We're in our twenties. That would be insane. That would be insane. I'm just asking. What if we bro? all like, said yes, though? From the salads that you eat, Eden, I'm surprised you don't have one already. <laughs> Goddamn. But yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> I do, I'm, getting a kidney stone from eating salad would be very. No, Eden's just special Taco Bell salad or whatever the one that he makes. Aren't aren't kidney <sighs> stones like worth money? I heard like you what? can like sell. It's them. like a a, ju- a jewel. It's like a special jewel. <laughs> they probably <laughs> are. It's, it's probably like a. It, it has some like spiritual significance. Can you? It's Im- like a charm or something. Like an engagement ring, but it has like a kidney stone on it. Oh my! Imagine you pr- you propose to someone with with a ring with your kidney stone on it that with sounds, your piss on it disgusting. Your piss but, on. but you like you intentionally like you intentionally gave yourself a kidney stone so that you could use that on the ring so that it's what? to show like your serious dedication like you yeah. went through the pain of childbirth so that they'll marry you and have your child a kidney stone is basically just like the the same feeling as childbirth when you think about it's it it's like giving birth through your dick basically, basically. more or less we need to try yeah dude I, I, it's like, it's the same. <laughs> well, passing a kidney stone, it's either like dropping like 10 bands on like an engagement ring or like suffering childbirth. I'd rather go through childbirth than paying like 10K for like a wedding ring, bro. Like, childbirth is still expensive though. Is it? I, bro, bro's are Canadian. You not, are you not going know. to a hospital? Oh. No, he's Canadian. He doesn't know. Shut up. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. Shut up. Know we have it here, bro. You don't matter. I was thinking like back of the taxi type childbirth, like the taxi driver is like delivering your baby, like you're screaming top is of your lungs. Is that what baby and... driver's about? Yeah, that's what baby driver. <laughs> <laughs> he only picks up people in his taxi who he are like nine pregnant months pregnant. Women. <laughs> he has like a pregnant. It's like Uber, but he only only pregnant women can install the app. And you have to the be like your pops third out to the time of the beat. <laughs> that would be crazy. <laughs> that's that's the next Tarantino movie. It has to be. Um, I would love that. 
Well, uh, hi, I'm Cor. I'm Jack, and welcome to the Milk Podcast. Yeah, and I'm Eden. Welcome to the Milk Podcast. I already said that. And I'm Cor again. Welcome to the Milk Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> hi, how are you guys doing this week? Awful. Ter- Dude, I couldn't even sleep last night, bro. I slept like two hours, I'm not even gonna lie, but I'm really excited Holy to shit. get this podcast done. Really? I drank Why half didn't a you Red sleep? Bull. <laughs> uh, Why didn't you sleep? I... I I don't know, man. I, like, I was watching Breaking Bad. You're watching Breaking Bad? Yeah, and, and did it give you, you know, nightmares because it was scary? Were you scared? Well, it reminded me of my dark past selling drugs, but I don't. I don't want to get into it. I don't want to get into it. Allegedly, he didn't sell. Allegedly, it. allegedly, <laughs> allegedly <laughs> he didn't do that. Allegedly, metaphor. I was. Yeah, I don't know. It's been. I've been addicted to Stardew Valley this week. That's yeah. been like my uh, my uh, heroin addiction lately. Uh. uh I am a white woman, and I just am come proud. out as a woman, all right? Like we know that's that's where you're at. Jack is transbating with every like aspect of his personality, <laughs> bro. Like he gives off such like tea. What do you fucking you're an egg, mean, bro? man? You're an egg. You what give off tea man egg? vibes. You, know, you know what I mean? Like you give off What's the vibe. Egg? You don't give off the vibe of like you are trans. You give off the vibe as like a woman, or. I'm not gonna finish. I'm gonna finish this. I, how do I? <laughs> There's no good way to finish that sentence. How am I? Like, okay, you give I off. You give off a, a assigned like female at birth trans into male vibe is what I was trying to say. Like that's the vibe you give off. <laughs> you give FTM energy. Yes, you give FTM energy, Jack. I'm not even joking. That's how I feel. Because like half of your interests, like Stardew Valley and Taylor Swift, like half of your interests. I don't interest, like Taylor Swift. <laughs> Where the fuck you are you getting this from? Taylor Swift. I don't love Taylor you Swift. Like Taylor Swift. Swift too. You, you like all the girly Dua Lipa. music. You love. I Ice don't Spice. love Dua Lipa. Jack loves girly music. He only plays girly like video girly games. Music. It's like I don't know, man. He has a fucking Disney princess. Like, but he also has the Fast and Furious, which is why I can't. I can't just call him like a femboy. Because he also has the Fast and Furious, no, so it's like Jack this level has a of, perfectly androgynous background. Yeah, it has this level of masculine, like natural masculinity, I do not, I do not look artificial femininity that I just can't comprehend. That's what's beautiful. That's why I'm amazing, and that's that's why I'm coming out as trans today on the podcast. And uh, Cor, can you explain to me what an egg is? You said that, and I don't know what the fuck you meant okay, by that. Well, I, it's pretty obvious if you think about it, but it's basically just the the community term for someone who's trans but doesn't know it yet because you have it you're an oh, egg you haven't hatched yet <laughs> oh it's like, he doesn't know it yet he doesn't know that he was assigned female bro, at birth he's yet. An that's egg. what you're talking about that. i love that term a trans egg bro you don't know it yet yeah that's so fucking funny <laughs> it's like shiny hunting trans people <laughs> you gotta collect that, them all that that's what that would be my ideal easter Oh, is you just finding trans people like on <laughs> your lawn? That's so weird. That's so what a weird thing to say. What does like, that, that do? Like, what does your mom like f- like find the trans community like in your city and then just like I don't know, like ask them to sit around <laughs> your house? Like, what, what, what the fuck what, does that what entail? It, it's like the the like trans Easter does like uh is it like a like a Easter bunny goes around and gives like queer eye makeovers to to trans people? Oh my god, the Easter the Easter Bunny just like is like RuPaul's Drag Race, like just fucking making up everyone. I don't even would... know what that means, Cor. So <laughs> I'm probably just not going to answer the question. To be completely honest, say yes, with you. say yes, yes. With a, a <clears throat> do you not support theory. trans? Do you not support trans Easter, bro? Like perhaps I'm just going to say if you're ever in like a perhaps. like a weird situation where you don't know how to answer the question, you just say perhaps. You know what I mean? Can it I it leaves it ambiguous. What's behind the black curtain? Is that where the drugs are? That's where my trans Easter eggs are, okay? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They're giant. <laughs> I, no, okay. I got a Nest Quick factory going on there. That's actually what's oh, okay, cool. cooking. So don't worry about that. You know it's, it's not as problematic, I promise. You said right. you know they say there's no trans kids, but explain kinder eggs. I don't get it, man. Why do you know so much about eggs? I don't I can't. It's I can't joke. jump off of this with you because, it's like, you just you just know so much about eggs. Dude's, dude's making like fifteen eggs. Like, just one joke. there's excited, like it was excellent, Kinder, and Kinder. all these normal egg jokes. Like, you could make it, be making egg yolks, but I don't understand these egg jokes that you're making. Cole. It's an egg yolk, like a yolk, like a an egg yolk. Egg-related humor. I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs>
<laughs> I need you to stop talking about egg <laughs> You don't want... You don't... Bring us to another topic. Are we topic. not trying to go into the egg-related humor pipeline? I do not want egg humor topic. <laughs> I watched Coraline yesterday. I haven't watched that movie since I was a kid. Oh, really? I, I was, love that movie. I love... I... So, the thing is, I didn't love it as a kid. I was scared. I Like, up until I was, like, 14, I could not watch or, like, consume any, like, horror media. 14? That is, like... Like, thir- con- like 13, 14? I was such a pussy. Wow. Like, I... What the like, fuck? Honest, so- I'm probably more recent on that because I, I don't know if it's like I couldn't do it, but I like intentionally would avoid horror stuff because I don't like like live action gore in particular. Animated, mm. I'm not so bad with. But then I realized that like horror is not like generally what I it- think of it as because I watched like Get Out and Parasite. And I was like, oh, OK, I like this. Like, this is cool. Yeah, I remember I watched the f- I think it was like eighth grade. I mm-hmm. went to see. This like sh- this M Night Shyamalan movie called The Visit. It's where like these old people like pretend to be these gr- chill these children's like grandparents and like try and kill them. <laughs> and it's weird. like actually a decent movie. It's actually a decent movie. But it was like that was like the first horror movie I went to see because I was like always afraid. Like I c- I didn't watch Harry Potter until I was like eleven, like twelve, because I was uh-huh. afraid of the Death Eaters, bro. So I'm <laughs> like Coraline would come on on the TV. I would like, oh my god, I'm like, I like the animation. I'd watch it for like 10 minutes, and then the fucking mom with the button eyes would come on, and I'd be like, oh fuck, okay, I'm switching the channel. I'm gonna be like, honest, I, was I watched a lot of that shit all the time. I watched a lot of horror related stuff as a kid, like, like I remember I watched like all the the Jason movies or whatever the Friday the Thirteenth, Friday the Thirteenth, and yeah. I watched like the Freddy Krueger movies and stuff like that too, because there was like an era of time, like a few years, where those types of movies made a really big comeback when we were like all pretty young. Like, I I was probably Mm -hmm. still, like, nine years old or something. Those made a really big comeback. I remember there was, like, the Freddy Krueger versus Jason movie. I remember I watched that one in theaters, and even when I was a kid, I was like, this is the dumbest fucking movie on the planet. (laughs) Oh, my fucking. But I feel like, like, your traditional horror movie is nowhere near as scary as, like, movies that are, like, horror adjacent. They aren't even trying to do the horror thing, yet they're, like, way scarier. Because Coraline... It's, like, psychological thriller. Not not even necessarily psychological. I just feel like the presentation of Coraline just is terrifying dude. as a child and, and, and like dude but like especially as a child jason man. movie is just fucking goofy like that shit's just goofy i'm sorry well so much of like horror movies are built on like jump scares and like shock value whereas like the entire vibe and environment of Coraline is just inherently weird and scary like it's yeah her going into like another dimension where all of her family have like button eyes and are creepy as fuck and then like it's slowly unraveling this mystery as it goes of like you know they're trying to steal her soul and her mo- like her mother's form that she takes on later in the movie she turns like this weird like skeleton like aluminum foil monster and like, I, I'm like, damn, I know why I was a pussy towards this movie when I was a kid, because that <laughs> shit is fucking scary. It's just like, but it's like really well done, too. That movie is like beautiful. Uh, I, I I really loved it, because uh, I hadn't seen it since I was probably like eight or nine years old. Mm-hmm. I, think, I, like, I think when it comes to Coraline, like, I haven't seen the movie in fucking forever, so I can't really say off the top of my head. But I think like with like animated horror and stuff like that, like the... Like, the reason anime isn't fucking scary at all is because the art style just, like, doesn't work. It's, like, really hard to make, like, a proper yeah. kawaii anime eyes, like, actually scary or whatever. But, like, that that feeling of, like, taking something that's, like, humanoid and almost looks human, but then, like, distorting it in certain ways yeah. to make it terrifying is, like, effective. And, like, the claymation or stop motion, whatever, that Coraline has, like, low-key ro- works pretty well if you're trying to make something really creepy like that. Yeah, like the arts. Yeah, mm. I think you're right. It's just like just the art style of all the humans. It's like it's humanoid, but like everyone moves a little differently. Their shapes are a little weird. Like there's the Wyborn, who's like the friend character. Yeah, just like his the way he moves, the way his body movement moves. He he basically is like a hunchback. He's like a he's like a he moves kind of like a zombie. And that like it, it instantly makes the movie like unnerving and like yeah the way everything is like way. slightly yeah. distorted is so great yeah. yeah yeah it's like every every character has a different way of like their body their body movements and everything I also think I, I, uh, stop motion in particular particular I can't fucking speak stop motion in particular lends itself a lot better to horror than two D like yeah. uh like because I I can think of a lot of like stop motion horror stuff. Like, uh, there's, like, the house, Coraline, uh, there's one called Mad God that I haven't seen by Phil Tippett, 
Uh, that oh, looks yeah, that really one interesting. seems fucking crazy, yeah. Uh, that, that I mean, I just insane. recently watched Opal, which is short by Jack Stauber, and that is, like, amazing. That's, does that it's have one of my any favorite stop motion I've in it? Recently. I can't remember. It's, like, all stop motion. It's all? It has to be mixed. It's mixed it's media, a, right? There's, like, live action and a little bit of 2D. Okay, okay. But, okay. like, the live action is, like, mixed. Like, like he does this thing where he'll... Which is part of what, like, he's really good at cr combining the stuff to make things unsettling. Because he'll do, mm -hmm. he does this thing where he'll put, he'll make the heads, like, claymation, and they're talking. But then the body is, like, a green screened in physical body. So they're moving oh, with, like, these weird so cool. movements. But then they've got this giant, freaky claymation head. So it's, like, makes it <laughs> extra unsettling. The uh, mixed media of it just, <laughs> just makes it even more terrifying. Yeah. That's really and and that short like was like that. incredible. I've watched it like twice, and the all the music is really good. But the way he does the visuals, I think it's because of its like physical nature. Like it's something in like real space. I feel like it lends itself better to a sort of seeing it as real, which like gives it more of that horror like aesthetic. Especially mm -hmm. because like stop motion or like dolls and figures like already have that kind of uncanny feeling because it's like real but not quite like like yeah. it's so famous for people to be like creeped out by like old yeah. time dolls and stuff it's like, like chucky it's and chucky horror. and like annabelle or, like, huge, and stuff like that huge, yeah yeah huge horror franchises yeah it's like a doll coming to life it's like though i terrifying. did i literally last night i watched this movie called i lost my body it's an animated film it's like a oh, combination yeah, of 3d yeah. and 2d and that one did it's not even supposed to be horror it's like, I think it's like suspense, but there's mm -hmm. like some scenes in that that are genuinely very unsettling because it's about like this guy's hand that gets cut off. And so it's a combined narrative of mm -hmm. you seeing the guy's life leading up to his hand getting cut off. And then also the hand, which is like sentient, sentient which is crawling, trying to get back to the, to its like owner, to its the owner. body. That's cool. Uh, and That's so, the Oscar. Didn't that one win an Oscar or something? I think it was nominated. No, oh, okay. Uh, I don't remember if it won or not. I just that's I watched like, it because I've seen yeah. it on a lot of people's top lists for like obscure like animated movies that are good. Um, and like there's scenes like where the hand is like, like like falls into the crack of the subway and like the it's in New York and like rats come up and like lick it and then start biting and attacking it and it's like oh, that is like Rick. super unsettling and like it's gross. <laughs> Literally pickle Rick. That's pickle but also, Rick, bro. That I don't know, anything with rats kind of just or like look, there's, I, there's I, like another scene where it's like covered in ants and the ants are like biting the hand. It like like jumps up. It's like really taps into that like heebie jeebie kind of element yeah, it, of unsettling. Like, yeah, it's like insects or like anything with like small bugs and like rodents like really like get under my skin. Oh so my! It's like oh, go ahead. Sorry. No, yeah, go ahead. I was gonna say that's one moment that freaked me out way a lot in a movie that's not supposed to be scary. You remember uh what what's it called? Uh Dis Disenchanted, I think, or something like that. Yeah. The parody. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That movie, there's a scene early in the movie where she's singing, but the joke is like, because she's a Disney princess, but it's like a parody of them. So the joke is like instead of birds and stuff, it's like pigeons. And rats come because she lives in New York, and then yeah. all, then a bunch of cockroaches come out and start helping her clean. And that shit genuinely gave me a nightmare as a kid because it was so <laughs> no, dude, fucking compare, gross and like, unsettling. The, that movie bangs though. There's just like it's, children and horror just go together so well because scaring <laughs> children is so fucking easy. It is so much fun. Like I remember when I was a kid, like and just to circle back, I wanted to comment on something earlier, but. With Opal and, and Coraline, like, the two things that they share in common that I think helps make them, like, both terrifying and is pretty effective throughout, like, all of horror, if you pay attention, mm -hmm. is that both have, like, children as their main characters. And so mm -hmm. when you're watching everything through the perspective of a child, you're closer to the ground, you have, like, yeah. less physical capabilities of defending yourself and stuff like that. That, like, immediately lends itself to, like, the entire env environment just being a lot scarier. Because yeah. there is like a greater sense of helplessness. Yeah, one hundred percent. I agree with dude, you, dude. Creepy pastas were so fuck. Dude, <laughs> I couldn't sleep. I was playing M Minecraft, and I don't know if you know back in the day. Like, I don't know if either of you were like really into Minecraft. Like, 
Like I'm yeah. talking like 2013, maybe 20 late 2012. I think I was, we're all really into Minecraft. I was on like Skype, right? This yeah. is Skype days of Minecraft. The and year someone, is 2012. Skype, yeah, yeah. people still use it. Boop, beep, boop. Someone's boop, like, boop. They, they, they set their Skype status to click this link. If, if 20 people click this link, I can get a free <laughs> Minecraft account. And I'm like, what? I'll help you get a Minecraft account. I'm a good Samaritan. Dude, I, wait, there's no even benefit to you. It's no, just to no. help the other person. Exactly, exactly. If 20 people click this link, I get a free Minecraft. Account. That's what it said. <laughs> and so I wanted to help this friend out. So I clicked the link and it was just a fucking like, like a j j j fucking, what's the guy's name? The Jack... Jack, Jeff the, the killer. killer. Jeff the killer. <laughs> Jack if, the killer. If you don't send this to ten all the, of your friends and family, they will die. It, it was it's Jeff like the killer. One of those things. It was Jeff the killer screaming, but also it had like this seizure effect where it was like spamming a bright white light, and it was screeching. It was just like a sound of death screeching at the top of its lungs, constantly looping. Jesus. Like it was destroying the speakers of my laptop. It was so loud, so I shut my laptop, and then it turned off. And I open my laptop and it's just screaming super loud. And I, I close it. I turn it off. And I'm like, I don't know what to do with this right now. I am too scared to close the jump scare right now. Because I'm like I'm like 10 years old. 11 years old. So I go to my brother. I'm like, bro, you gotta, can you get rid of this for me? And I open it. It's so fucking loud. He's like, dude, get that shit away from me. What the hell is that? Get out of here. And so I keep opening it. I'm like, I can't do it. Oh, I can't do it. Oh, I opened the laptop. I can't do it. I would imagine eventually, eventually I you'd it. get like desensitized. No, yeah, no he's yeah, still yeah. scared. <laughs> but no, dude, because like literally, like Jeff the Killer was. I, I couldn't sleep for fucking weeks when I read the Jeff the Killer fucking creepy bosses, bro. That shit was I, terrifying. I, you just remind me. There, like, I think it was like two thousand like eight nine YouTube. Like, there was so many like troll youtube videos i would mm -hmm. click on where it's like i'm on youtube and it's like funny guy falls over and then it's like you click on the video and then it's like halfway through they just cut to a jump scare of like jeff the killer like screaming at you yeah it's like like yeah. it's like <laughs> troll videos where it's like clickbait like you get some of the joke video and then it's like they troll you with the scare. dude i remember my scare. first jump scare yeah. i remember my first this is like a like a like a like an integral memory i'm on the fucking dial-up internet connection right we still got mm -hmm. dial-up on my on my dad's computer we're not allowed to use his computer but he wasn't home right so we use so the computer you're gonna use right the, yeah, yeah yeah you're gonna use that we're show. watching this youtube video and it's called michael jackson like alive spotted in miami or some shit like <laughs> what <that. laughs> it's like that, a, sounds, this, that sounds like a a, no, a meme nowadays yeah yeah bro. this is like 2008 but it's like a complete unironic video like michael jackson spotted alive we need, walking in, we in need miami this to be like the like the old like Elvis is still alive memes where it's just Michael Jackson walking around, but he's like really fat. No, okay, so that would be cool. This video he ate all had, the kids, bro. It had <laughs> Michael Jackson's. It was like he was like it was like a figure like in the distance. You could barely tell what it was, and it was Michael Jackson like like moonwalking backwards, right? Distantly in the background, you hear. And then all of a sudden, it's just a crazy jump scare, and I I was like fucking horrified. That was my first. That's like such an integral memory. That's like your. That's like the first time you shit yourself in public. Like it's that integral of a memory for me i've never shit myself in public dude start living your life start crossing off that bucket list bro. <laughs> how, what the fuck are you doing to be right honest now? how many times have you shit yourself in public um what a what is the cutoff point for the age you know what i mean like you, i'm saying in your entire life i don't are care about like zero I'm a baby from, yes from you don't zero, remember I every don't time you shit I, in your diaper i don't know. i never did I it I don't. I'm remember. saying like what you remember. Not I don't shit in my. I never shit in my diaper once. Like I so, how many times I can time. like cognitively remember shitting myself in a public space? Yes, probably like three times. To be completely honest with you, how old are you? Probably like all around like age Yesterday. five or something. <laughs> Yesterday, yesterday. This, this week has been crazy for tomorrow, me. Tomorrow, actually, I plan. I intend on doing it tomorrow. You take a la you take a fucking laxative right before you leave the house, bro. You're ready to go. No, I, I'm, I, I, over time, I got really good at not shitting because I, I refused to use the toilets at school. So, I, I, growing up, I could go like 
nine hours, 12 hours just holding a shit in if I needed to, you know That's what I mean? That's fucking tough, man. You, it's you not tough. Like, you get used you to it. You like, locked and loaded for there's like There's certain like muscle it. fibers in your ass that like... So your ass is really strong. Your ass yeah, is that's, really strong. It grows it, your, is your that inner why muscle you have ass. such a fat ass? That's why I have such a fat ass. Holding in the, all this shit. The inner, the inner tissue <laughs> of the buttocks <laughs> was actually being worked every single day as I held that in. Oh my god. Is that what I have to do? That's what you have to do. You have to hold your shit. I got a big booty now, but it's like... It's not like... It's not anything near yours, man. I guess I got a notch. I'm just not gonna shit anymore. I'm a pro Jack. You, you have a there. colossal dump truck, man. You should like you, you're looking like Bubble Bass when he sits on Squidward at the end of the episode, bro. Like that shit's crazy. <laughs> I dog. don't want to look like Bubble Bass. I don't think <laughs> no anybody pickles, wants bro. to look like no Bubble pickles, Bass. bro. No pickles. I don't want that shit. Goddamn. So you guys, you guys on the on that thread shit. You th are you threadheads? <laughs> um, follow up, bro. Jack is boy real on threads. I'm working I'm on it. I'm debating. I'm, I'm debating on a rebrand right now, so I'm probably gonna change all my usernames on everything. So it's like in the works, right? I can't. I can't give too many secrets out right now. I'm kind mm -hmm. of working on it, but you, I believe, have actually been using threads like a little bit. And, yeah, and Jack as well. So I'm curious as to like um, what your comparison between that Instagram and like Twitter and everything is. Yeah, you you talk about a core because I <laughs> barely well, used it. Well, I, I I haven't used it too much, but I put I made an account recently because it came out, and I was like, why not? Uh, and I had re I also recently made an Instagram account just to post like art related stuff. Um, so it's like cores here with threes at the end because I couldn't get my actual handle. Follow that. Um, and funds put it on screen the thing with threads i feel like is it definitely feels very similar to twitter uh, i ha i don't have any big issues with it also the logo is fire that's a good logo i really really like the threads logo let me look it up it, it's, I it's like, i think it's okay i don't i don't love it i but. think it's like pretty like distinct like it stands out and it's pretty memorable it's interesting and it looks like it looks it doesn't feel like it's just like a twitter copy like if it, it looks like, like a fat Twitter, guy's belly button. Different. Like I don't know, like what I'm really it's, looking at right now. It's like someone. It, it's like a. It's like a weird version of an ampersand. Like it's really weird. I don't like it. It's okay, kind of well, weird. You're a hater, uh, and I'm not really picking up that energy uh, right now. Have you made threads? Like how? Like I. I just like don't like threads because it's like me starting up a new social media account, and it's like starting from nothing. Like, I, and then I mm -hmm. see like. Like fucking bullshit accounts that I don't care about, and I'm like, I'm gonna That's have to scroll for a while. That's the big thing. Like I've used it yeah. a bit, but because they don't really have a like a following feed, it's just the algorithm. It's like so many of terrible, excuse me, normie accounts. If I might yeah. use that word, uh, I, think I don't it's hard, like yeah. saying that word. Uh, but there's no it's better true. way to put it. It's like the most like generic, unfunny memes. It's like. The same, like, Twitter jokes you've seen, like, five million times before. All the fucking... It's basically Bob all the clap. shitty accounts that I've already muted on Twitter. Now I have to it's, mute it, them a second time on threads. It's, it, it's basically... It, it's, it's why it, people like us fucking pretentious-ass, like, internet losers. Like, it, it makes us hard to, like, get onto these it social media hard, platforms. It makes us hard, yeah. It makes us hard. No, it's just, the like, power starting of being new on the social media platform and having attention. Like, it makes us hard. Like, starting up a new TikTok account, for instance, is, like, the same thing. Because you're going to be fucking flooded with a bunch of, like, normie garbage videos. And then, eventually, you'll probably get into an algorithm that you like. But it's, like, it takes a little... It takes, like, a little bit of, like, you know, you have to dedicate a little bit of time to it. And with, like, with these already, like, established big social media platforms that I, I go on a lot, I'm like, why do I want to do this again? Like, I have Twitter. Mm -hmm. I don't... You know, I already don't want to use Twitter, so like, why would I use another Twitter? So yeah, it's, I'm. It's I'm kinda... just like treating it as like, uh, just something to go on and like post random stuff occasionally, because I want, I don't know, I want to encourage them to there to be some competition. Obviously, I don't think Threads is necessarily the best, uh, because it's fucking Facebook, which is like yeah. so much worse than Twitter. Like in terms of like overall like net damage to the world, uh, yeah. Uh, by the way, like look up that Facebook being used for genocide. Check it out. Some interesting articles. Look that up. Pretty pretty lit. Uh, Facebook sucks. There's no porn on Threads, so like it's probably not gonna. I really think that that will prevent it from fully replacing Twitter because Twitter's one you of think? the last like major social media platforms that hasn't just completely banned porn. 
like yeah, all like, the other ones like you can't like Tumblr uh why did I say that as the first major social media platform? Instagram, Tom, Space, Facebook, fucking... like all of those, like there's people who try and skirt the line, but you can't like explicitly post stuff like that. Uh, Twitter's like the last one, really. Well, I agree. There should be no porn on the internet, actually. I think that yeah, we should yeah, go no, back should to ban pen it and all. paper. I think if you want porn, you should be drawing it yourself. Like, have some respect to the goddamn cage. Drawing it yourself. We, we should do drawing it yourself. We should do like exactly. a prohibition era, but for not porn. making it. Where you go to you go to like a speakeasy and they they pass you like a Playboy magazine like under the table. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> we're jerking off to Playboys again. Like we're just like going back to fucking men, the good men old days. deserve a tree house. Okay, we deserve a tree house. Okay, every man should have a government government mandated tree house where they stash their Playboys and cigarettes. Like we need to go back. Okay. We're too oversaturated nowadays, okay? Yeah, kids these days. We need to go back to the simple times where kids could buy cigarettes without repercussions, okay? I love cigarettes. I do, if you guys I love cigarettes, cigarettes suck. if you guys love cigarettes, don't then, smoke, um, guys. Don't do it. Don't, don't smoke. smoke. Don't, actually, don't we're, smoke. But we're gonna, we're gonna talk about the benefits of smoking on our Patreon premium episode. So go to patreoncom milk and pledge ten dollars or more. You can access the f- other episode and check out our about, merch again check out the merch now do it look at it look at it see uh, look at it and then put it on buy it flash it on the toilet yo thank you for watching yeah funds put a funny picture of yourself on screen and say i love milk all right love you funds <laughs> go to the patreon bye